Have you ever encountered sentences like she is not only intelligent but also hard working and most importantly combination of words like not only but also they are called conjunctions conjunctions play a crucial role in writing by improving flow coherence and clarity now let's discuss them in detail conjunctions are words that join together two different words phrases or clauses Now the most common example of conjunctions are but and or so yet not only etc now let's discuss different types of conjunctions these types are coordinating conjunctions subordinating conjunctions correlative conjunctions or adverb conjunctions now let's discuss them one by one the first one is coordinative conjunctions coordinative conjunction joins words phrases or independent clauses that are of equal importance within a sentence remember one thing coordinating coordinating conjunctions always create compound sentences the most common example of coordinative conjunctions are and but or nor for so and yet its sentences are i like coffee and tea now in this case and is a coordinative conjunction and it coordinate between these two words joining these two words coffee and tea in the next sentence she wanted to go out but it was raining now here but is a coordinating conjunction and it combines two different clauses the second type is subordinating conjunctions these conjunctions link an independent clause with a dependent clause therefore it creates complex sentences called subordinating subordinating conjunctions indicate relationship between the clauses these relationship could be cause and effect contrast and time etc the most common subordinating conjunctions are because although while if since until and unless its sentences are because it was raining we stayed indoors now here in this case it shows cause and effect raining is a cause and staying indoors is an effect and it is showed by this conjunction subordinating conjunction so the first part is a dependent clause the second part is independent clause so subordinating conjunctions combine dependent clause with an independent clause creating a complex sentences the second part second sentence is she will come if she finishes her work on time now it's a conditional sentence the first part is independent clause the second part is dependent clause depending upon the first clause so a subordinating conjunctions combines a dependent clause with an independent clause creating complex sentences the third type is correlative conjunction these conjunctions work in pair to join elements within a sentence the most common correlative conjunctions are either or neither nor both and not only but also whether or its sentences are either you study hard or you will fail the exam now we will always see these two word in pair here study depends upon its failure in exam if you study hard you will not fail the exam and vice versa the second sentence is she is not only intelligent but also hard working now this pair combines the two different qualities within a person intelligence and hard working so correlative conjunctions always comes in pair and they join different element different qualities within a person the third type is adverb conjunctions these conjunctions function as both adverb and conjunctions connecting dependent clauses and indicating relationship between them they provide transition between ideas within a sentence the most common example of adverb conjunctions are 
however therefore moreover nevertheless and consequently its sentences are he studied hard therefore he passed the exam now here therefore is a conjunction it not only act as a as an adverb for this verb but also connect these two clauses both of the clauses are independent clauses the second sentence is she loves to travel however she hates long flights now this conjunction not only describe had this verb but also combine these two clauses so it is all about conjunctions it is not worthy that conjunctions are indispensable tool for constructing meaningful sentences and creating coherence in writing while they are essential tools however their misuse can lead to confusion or awkwardness in sentences and in writings thank you for joining today's lecture on conjunctions feel free to leave any questions or comment below don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel until next lecture happy learning